Alice underscore just redeemed fatherly affirmation. Or Shizzle 231 just took the top spot. Foolanders caught ETPPG took out the garbage without being asked. Hi, everybody. Mr. Shins here. Thank you for joining me tonight. And tonight, it's more Dragon Quest. Alice, I do have a fatherly affirmation for you. Callus, I'm proud of you. Not just for what you achieve, but just for who you are. Uh, the world can be a scary place, but knowing that you're in it makes it more bearable, less scary. Thank you for being you. Keep doing that. This has been Fatherly Affirmations with Mr. Shins. I... Fool, did you... Did you really... I got I got this, Mr. Shins. Take a break, my lord. <laughs> I've never played DQ3, so this will be fun. <laughs> Fool, I... Did you take out the garbage without me asking you? I mean... Great job. Wow. Taking out the trash on your own? You know, your initiative, your responsibility, they show how thoughtful and mature you're becoming. Just keep up the amazing work, sir. Thank you. Black, hello. Black, thank you for shouting out for Shizzle. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, for Shizzle, congratulations on getting first. Well done. Black, thank you for shouting out the, uh, at the fool. So... Uh, I'm sorry that I missed Wednesday and Thursday, but I'm, I'm here now, doing Friday. Uh, we're going to continue. Mr. Shins, we're in Romilly. So, <laughs> the last time, uh, we made it to Romilly. We needed to talk to the king. And, um, we're, the, the overall thrust of this adventure is we're trying to figure out what happened to Ortega. So, um... We got the key to the, the the thief's key. We got to the uh, got to the portal to basically, basically we're in Italy, like uh, Dragon Quest's version of Italy. And uh, we're gonna talk to the King of Romilly and see what he has to say. Maybe he can give us a clue about Ortega. Saw black coming through the door, so I had to take <laughs> take it out first. As fool, <laughs> well done, fool. Okay, King says. Welcome back. Mr. Shins needs 14 experience points before reaching the next level. Any Shark needs two experience points. Gene Machine needs 62 experience points. <clears throat> and Tree needs 168 experience points. Uh, then be on your way, Mr. Shins. But I haven't really talked to him except to save the game. Can we get a last time on Dragon Quest 3? Yeah, uh, here we go, Four. Last time on Dragon Quest 3. Here we go. We'll, have, we'll put that in the trailer. Okay. Talk to the king. Welcome. I've heard about what happened to Ortega. Mr. Shins. What? That's all he says? What about the queen? Maybe the queen has something more, uh, more useful to say. I see. Would you like to continue your journey? Yes, I would. <clears throat> I have a favor to ask of you. Kandar stole our golden crown and escaped from the kingdom with it. Please help us get it back 
and I'll recognize you as a true hero, Mr. Shins. Toriyama would be proud, says Fool. <laughs> Thanks, Fool. I appreciate that. Okay, so we have to, uh, we've got to get the golden crown uh, from Kandar, just as a favor to the king here. Um, let's talk to the queen, see what she has to say. I hear that Aliahan is a beautiful place, and, that's, and that it's full of wonderful people. Oh, how nice, queen. Thank you. Please listen to our king's humble request. I can listen to the wind's whisper. Would you like me to tell you what it's saying? Yes, I would, sir. Far to the west of Kazave, 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 lies the massive Champagne Tower. The west of Kazave. Ah, oh, people of Aliahan, we welcome you. We have a friendly kingdom here. It's so nice. So we need to go find this this Kandar person and get the golden crown back from him. One thing I remembered uh, from the original Dragon Quest on NES, Dragon Warrior, as it were, is that there were random things hidden um, in different places around, like just on the ground, and there's no indicator uh, that those things are there. So I'm going to try and find some of the, those things this playthrough. There seem to be a lot more monsters in this area than when I first arrived. There are very tough monsters in the east. If I were you, I'd head to the north first and get some more experience. Well, what are you saying? I'm not experienced enough? How dare you? It's fine. A spear rests on the rack. But that is all. What about the swords? A sword sits on display. I was attacked on my way here from Kazade and dropped all of my goods. I'm safe now, but my business is ruined. <sighs> so dramatic. It's in here. This door is locked and you don't have the right key. Stairways. Stairway up. Going up into a tower. Talk to the thief here. Leave me alone. I'm not one of Kandar's henchmen. How many times must I tell you this? Oh. I'm really sorry. I thought you were one of the castle guards. I don't know why they think I'm in liege with Kandar. I absolutely cannot stand that guy. He lives in the Champier Tower, where he recruits his followers. I really wish someone would go there and kick his ass. Well, that will be us. In this Dragon Quest, you get the whole party at the start. Yeah, fool. So basically, unlike other... Well, it's like Dragon Quest VI, if you've ever played that one. Um, where you choose your party members, you basically recruit them at, at a tavern in the first first part of the game, and you customize each character except the hero. Okay, so we've got to get to this Champier Tower and kick Kandar's ass and take the crown back from him and give it to our friend King. My son loves having fun, but that hasn't changed since he became the king. We're in a lot of trouble. Oh. Bravo, you found the Pachisi ticket. We can go play Pachisi. Mr. Shins browsed through the books on the shelf. Bravo, you found the cheater guide. Wow, the remake is going to be so cool. Yeah, fool, I'm so excited for it. I'm... I'm... I'm really looking forward to it. Playing this is just a pleasure. This is, looks way better than the NES game. It, it looks and plays so much better. It's got more stuff. I wish that I'd taken it, taken it up before. But I'm doing it now. Okay, we already went up that stairwell, up that tower. Oh, okay. We can go downstairs. Doors locked and you don't have the right key. Okay, so we know where we have to go. Champier. <clears throat> but where was it? Where did he say it was again? Was it in the east? You're the ones from Aliahan, aren't you? We've been expecting you. 
What did the king say? Did the king say? Or did he just say Kandar had taken it? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for giving us all, all this info. I have a favor to ask you. Kandar stole our golden crown and escaped from the kingdom with it. Please help us get it back, and I'll recognize you as a true hero, Mr. Shen. That's all he said. Wait, did the, uh... Where did the... Did this guy say where it was? I can whis listen to the wind's whisper. Would you like me to tell you what it's saying? Far to the west of Kazave lies the massive champion Champagne Tower. Okay, west of Kazave. So let's go find Kazave. And go west. Doobs! Hello, sir! Um, if there's a mod here, can I get a shout out for Doobs? Doobs, so nice to see you. Happy, happy Friday. Okay. Um, I think I remember the old game. Nothing found. Ah, small metal. Well, that wasn't, well, that wasn't actually what I was expecting, but okay. That's fine. I'm not going to complain. What's this? Oh, my game just froze. Hold on. There we go. Black, thank you for shouting out, Dubes. You guys, if you haven't followed Dubes, uh, hey, my name is Dubes and I love video games and, oh, Superman. So come on in and have some fun. Not too often I'm up late like this. I know it, Dubes. We have, we have, uh, we, our schedules are too far off. We need to come and meet in the middle a little bit. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Dubes, uh, Dubes finished Final Fantasy IX recently? I'm sorry, I doubt it. <laughs> okay, got barked at by the dog. This is the church. I don't think we need to do anything in here. We just talk to some people. I think I, I, think I already looked at the books. Nothing of interest. Oh, got an airplane. It's weird how kind of useless the church is. Um, I believe we already talked to this. Is it true that the Archfiend Baramas is planning on conquering the world? Yep, it's true, lady. By the way, this is my house now. No, it's the inn. Okay. All right, we have to go find Kasave, whatever it's called, Kasave. <laughs> magician and a caterpillar. Fight the magician, destroy him. Tree suddenly drops to the ground, tree dozes off and starts snoring, tree. Caterpillar's defense goes up by 12 points. We're gonna hurry up and defeat the Magician and then focus on the Caterpillar. Eight damage. Kill the Caterpillar. Nine damage. G-Machine's getting rocked. Okay. Any shark reached level eight. Fantastic. Any shark learned sap. Good deal. Okay. So, Kasave was in the north. Am I calling out the right thing. Just raided with three views. Yuki. Can you get a shout out for Yuki, please. Yuki, thank you for the raid, sir. Yuki was doing karaoke. I was I was just lurking him. Thank you, Saribot, for for uh <laughs> Thank you, Saribot, for for uh getting getting the bots. Tree drops on the ground, dozes off, and starts snoring. Dang it, tree. Yuki, thank you so much for the raid. Very much appreciated. How was karaoke, sir?
We love the best viewers, says Fool. <laughs> Tree still asleep. Oh, Mr. Shins is level seven. Black, thank you so much for shouting out Yuki. It was good, says Yuki. Excellent. Well, thank you for being here, sir. Appreciate you. Okay, gotta find this town. Rogue Knight. Destroy him. Any shark is too fast to be hit by the rogue knight. Eighteen damage. Tree tries to do a trick but falls over, drops to one knee. No, Tree, come on. Mr. Shins take 19 damage and perishes. It's my first death of the game. Okay, we gotta get to the church. Sixteen damage. Okay. Um heal. Heal heal yourself, Andy Shark. G Machine he gets a critical hit. Hook him out. Good job, G Machine. <laughs> okay. I'm a coffin right now, so we gotta get we gotta get back to uh, to Romilly Castle. Uh, didn't I just say the church was useless? The game's punishing me. Trustworthy servant of God, what do you seek at our church? Uh, resurrection, please. Who would you like to revive? Mr. Shins. That requires a donation of 50 gold. Is that okay? Almighty God, if it is your will, please resurrect your servant, Mr. Shins. Are you stiff too, Fool? I'm stiff today as well. I've been doing the thing where you go to sit down somewhere and you go, Ugh, like that, like, and then you're like, oh, God damn it, I'm old. Can I do anything else for you? Uh, no, I think we're done. Then please be careful. Peace be with you. I'll work on that. Okay. I suppose we should rest. Twelve gold for the night. Would you like to stay the night? Yes, I would. Please enjoy your stay. Alrighty, off to bed for me, says Dubes. I'm glad to catch you one of these days. I'll pull an all-nighter. <laughs> Thanks, Tubes. Sleep well, sir. I hope you have a good weekend. Good morning. Hope you have a safe trip. Thank you. Off we go to fight more powerful enemies. Okay, we're going to find this... this town in the north. Amira Amirage and Caterpillars. I'm going to do the, uh, the Caterpillars first. Tree tries to do a trick, but falls over. Drops to one knee. Caterpillar casts Increase. Lord. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted Caterpillars. Five damage. Twelve damage to Tree. Tree suddenly tries to run, but there is no escape. Tree, come on. It's gonna be a long road to level 20 with Tree. Fool says, our talk uh, yesterday about not being able to squeeze in game time except during stream has inspired me to try to squeeze some time in now at least 30 minutes. Oh, that's forward thinking of you, fool. Mr. 
Mr. Shins falls asleep, Annie Shark falls asleep. Gene Machine does not fall asleep. Tree falls asleep. It's just, it's up to Gene Machine right now. What, uh, Fool, what game are you going to play off stream then? Gene Machine falls asleep. We're all asleep! We're all going to die! The machine's asleep. Mr. Shins wakes up. The tree wakes up. Annie Shark wakes up. They cast sleep again. Mr. Shins falls asleep. Annie Shark stays awake. The tree stays awake. Okay. Get the caterpillar. There's so many games to play at the rate I play them, I'll never get to them all. So you don't have anything in mind for what you're going to tackle first? Okay, we got the caterpillar. Sleep is no longer working on us. It's, we're, we're too... We're too strong now to succumb to the sleep. Or maybe we're too well rested. Finally. 24 experience points, 40 gold. G Machine's level 9. G Machine's abilities increase. Agility went up by 5, that's good. We got a chest. We found a leather hat. Okay, so. Thinking of finishing Shenmue first. Awesome. Shenmue is such a great game. Uh, let's look at that leather hat. What is, what is Hard Heart? An accessory. That creases and tack quite a bit. But what does it, why is it called Hard Heart? Does it, does it do something else? Equip it. Mr. Ships equipped the Hard Heart. Okay. So we have a wooden helmet. Annie Shark has a leather hat. Makes her defense go up by 20, by two points. We give it to Gene Machine. Two points. She already has one. So we'll just have her equip it. Make sure I can equip the leather hat. Itchy, thank you for the lurk, sir. Theopolis, first time in a Mr. Shin stream. Hello, thank you for being here. Okay. So we have the leather hat whipped. Um, and I'm gonna do some healing. Mr. Shins needs to heal badly. Two heals. Annie Shark is doing kind of okay. G Machine definitely needs a heal. And Tree really needs a heal too. Okay, let's find this town. What's this? A magician in an almirage. One shot for the magician. Two shots for the almirage. Okay, what's this? Music is uh, is great. Ah, oh, again I failed, but I won't give up. Someday I'll finish this. Where am I? Look, there's an open up. Oh. <laughs> Got to pick my dialect. Look, there's an op there, there's an opening up there in the ceiling. Wonder what's up there. Opening up in the ceiling. Okay, go up the stairs. Ah, it's Pachisi. Welcome. One game of Pachisi will be one ticket. Would you like to try it? Yeah, let's give it a try. Then please give me your ticket. You will be given 10 turns to complete this board. 
Good luck. Okay, here we go. GC music is great. Black, thank you for shouting out Theopolis. Okay, we're going to uh, roll the die. Five. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think I want the 50 gold, don't I? Oh, but if I get an extra roll, that would be great. Make sure I get through the thing. Cool, you earned one more turn. So roll the die. One, two, three. There's a jar. Check inside of it. Yes. Medical medical herb. Would you like to use one now? No. Okay. Roll the die. Two. One, two. Doubtful voice can suddenly be heard. A fiery mountain lights the night sky. Hit and sound the, bro the broad head. Mr. Shin's strength increased by two points. Okay. Roll. Three. Two, three. Good deal. There's a treasure chest. Will you open it? Yes. Mr. Shins, do you want to know the truth? The spooky, haunting, demonic truth? Uh-oh, Yuki, I guess I do. You found a boomerang. Fantastic. One. That's not a good roll. Examine the current panel. Might as well. Nothing could be found. Four. Um, this is getting dangerous. Three, four. Mr. Shin's stats are about to change. Roll the dice. Three. Stamina. By four points. Increased. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm a spooky ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki. They had a uh, DQ Mario Party in here? What? Yeah, Pachisi is kind of kind of like Mario Party. Oh. A trap door. Oh, it was so close. <sighs> I don't think I have any more Pachisi tickets. Uh, anybody carrying one? I think I only got the one. Nope, no more Pachisi tickets. Although while I'm here, I'm gonna see if I can equip this boomerang to somebody. Let's see, Mr. Shins can have it. Gene Machine's attack goes to 42. Oh, looks like everybody but Annie Shark can use it. <laughs> Splashy Jazzy, hello. Can I get a shout out for Splashy Jazzy? All right. And thank you for doing the plane command. All right, uh, let's give it to Gene Machine. Yes, let's equip it. And then Gene Machine had a... What was it? Chainsickle. We can give that to somebody else. Oh, I can give it to Mr. Shins. It's Mr. Shins now. All right. Perfect. Okay, I want to go up, just go upstairs one more time and see where I can get more Pachisi tickets. <laughs> you guys. I don't think that, I think Wittershin's right is an, has an underscore in it. Just trying to see if I missed anything here in chat. So it does, says Jazzy. Okay, we'll talk to this guy. Welcome. One game of Pachisi will be one ticket. Would you like to try it? Yes, I would. But you don't have any Pachisi tickets. Please come again. Okay, well, I suppose that makes sense. 
Oh, look around the board. Yeah, I want to get through there. Once I find more Pachisi tickets, I'm going to gamble my life away. Does it? Says, says Black. That would mean I, I've been again shouting out the wrong account. <laughs> that appears to be the case. Yeah, I think it's Wittershins underscore rights. Okay. We're supposed to be we're supposed to be looking for the whatever that town is called. Cassave? Cassava? Oh lord. Caterpillar, Almirage, and Venom Toad. Let's uh, focus on the Venom Toad. Nice thing about the, the boomerang. Seven damage. <laughs> there goes Venom Toad. Gene Machine falls asleep. Tree does not fall asleep. Okay, everybody do the caterpillars. If you're playing the crosses over, you add another 10,000 to the cost of the new house, says Jazzy. No, Jazzy, don't say that. Jazzy, how are you doing? 11 damage. Ugh, oh, Mr. Chins is not looking good. Any shark takes 8 damage. I think we're gonna get a minute. There we go. 25 experience points, 41 gold. All right, gotta heal up. Mr. Shins definitely needs it. Any shark needs it. Bean machine and tree are fine. Okay. Further north, further north. A lot better today, says Jazzy. Got my usual 12 hours of sleep and my brain is working properly again. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, and I just noticed that our pre-roll is off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick ad break. Um, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to just, uh, since we're just uh, in the wilderness here, I'll just uh, go ahead and run it and walk around and fight things. Um, so I will see you guys in 180 seconds. Sorry to anybody that's behind the commercial wall. Okay. Uh, magician first. Trees analyzing the situation. Focus on the caterpillar. Twenty experience points, thirty-eight gold. Oh, there's a town. damage to any shark. And damage to Mr. Shins. Forty four damage. Boomerang seems OP in all the DQ games. Yeah, it it's so good. <laughs> like, you have to have it. You have to have it. In Dragon Quest VIII, the whip is also really good. Um, welcome to the small mountain village of Kazave. I was saying Kazave. I was so close. Maybe it is Kazave. If you go west from this village, you will come across the Tower of Champagne. Mm, champagne. 
Even a very weak magician can bring down a monster by hitting a vital point with a poison dagger. Long ago, they used to sell them at the item store. Okay, I don't think we need to use the church. But, um, how do we get to the graveyard? Trustworthy servant of God, what do you seek at our church? Nothing. Then please be careful. Peace be with you. There's a world-famous fighter buried in the town cemetery. They say that he defeated a grizzly with his bare hands. I hope I can be like that someday. Nothing was found. Nothing was found. But there's gravestones here. Bravo! Small metal. Hey, I got lucky. I should probably at some point do some inventory management. <laughs> Go in this guy's house. Boxer shorts. What, what good are boxer shorts for? Uh, item. Gene Machine has them. Oh, they actually lower his defense. <laughs> um, what if I give them to Mr. Shins? Can't. 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 Okay, we're just going to put him in the bag then. Okay, while I'm doing this, uh, we'll give, give some things to the bag. Mr. Shins has way too much stuff. Antidote, smart book, alters alters personalities. G Machine, <laughs> only men can wear boxers. Oh, that's probably what it is. That is probably what it is. But it, as it is an item that uh, lowers defense at this point. Eh. I beg to differ, says Jazzy. <laughs> okay. Cheater guide alters personality. I have all these. I need to. I need to learn about the personalities. No, I can't use the hydrator mode anymore. Says Callus. I'm so sorry, Callus. Aha! Says Jesse. <laughs> okay, copper sword. Can anybody use this? Nope. Well, tree can use it, but it's not. It's not better. So. That's a sellable thing, so we'll give the copper sword to the bag. Herbs are good to have. Any shark has. Get, give the medals to the bag. Yuki Alma Sishin's just redeemed fatherly affirmation. Yuki, I do have an affirmation for you. Yuki, your actions make a difference. Um, remember that they continue to make a difference despite challenges that the world throws your way. Uh, your kindness, your compassion, they make me proud every day. This has been Father of Affirmations with Mr. Shins. You need one of your own, Mr. Shins. Callus, I, don't, I do not want to be drowned. <laughs> I needed it. It was all I had here, says Callus. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Callus. Well, you see, when you get a little sick of washing and your partner gets new boxers every year for Christmas, like 10 or so, you improvise. Oh, I see. That's how it works, Jazzy. I will draw an orange hydrate. No, no, just an emote, says Callus. <laughs> Jazzy's offering to craft it. Uh, um, giving things to the bag. Oh, geez, that plane is really low. Oh, my God. Okay, G Machine has herbs. Tree has herbs. I think we're good. We're good. Thank you for the, the using the plane command, Jazzy. This is an item shop. How can I help you? That's, what do you have? What do you have, sir? Wooden helmet. Um, be good for almost 
No, it would be good for, for everyone except Mr. Shins. Rabbit's boots. Crease's luck. Tree's luck would go insane. Might be good for... <laughs> I should have Tree be the thief. How does that, why does it work that way? Mr. Shin's luck is so low. Luckily my hydrate is a follower one. It just means you can't use it anywhere but on my chat, says Jazzy. 10 per year? Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Seems like a lot. What does holy water do? I assume we'll find some along the way. This item intrigues me, but it's kind of expensive for how much money I have right now. Take care then. Okay, we can go to the inn. We can talk to this guy. What's this guy have to say? I've come in pursuit of Kandar. But apparently, he has fled to a tower somewhere. We're gonna get to him before before he does. This is a weapons and armor shop. What would you like to buy? Ooh, iron spear. All of this stuff is out of my price range, except for the bronze shield. Which would be good. It'd be very good for G-Machine, but... Oh, I accidentally bought it. This is what happens in real life to me. Okay. Um, 36 to 43 for defense. Tree can't use it. That's funny. All right, we'll give it to Gene Machine. Super high defense thief. Please come again. Highway robbery. Oh, wait, I have things to sell. And recoup some of the cost here. Sell. Who will be selling something this time? Jimmy Shin says, I believe it's just so many boxers. Does he just ruin a bunch per year or does he have a closet dedicated to just boxers? Kitty Tobeans, hello. Kitty Tobeans adjusted the thermostat. Kitty Tobeans, what are you doing adjusting the thermostat? I can't believe you adjusted the thermostat. Kitty Tobeans. Are we. The thermostat is set right where it needs to be. What are toe beans? The, the little pod pads. Pad pods. Wait, paw pads. Yeah. They're the little... We call them toe beans. The pads on the paws of... The, kitty toe beans. Yeah, the paw pads. <laughs> kitty toe beans. Please don't adjust the thermostat. It's set. Right? Like the, the, the system, it's... You know, the turning off and on, like it, it increases maintenance costs. It's just, it's just cascading contingencies of pain, pain for everyone. It's, a, it's middle class family thing. <laughs> Jazzy about the boxers. Full says I could go for some new boxers. Black, thank you for shouting out Callus. Boxers are so durable, though. They just last. Yeah, I've, I, I have some, some boxers I probably should have thrown away by now. Hmm. <clears throat> Probably an overshare. Okay, we're gonna go to the bag. We're gonna sell. Uh, should sell the boxer shorts. Yeah, I'm gonna sell them. I'll give you 90 gold for the boxer shorts. That's a great price. I will take it. 90 gold, Mr. Shins. How many holes do they have? They don't have any holes, Jesse. They they're just very. Like I don't really wear them anymore because they, you know, the the elastic. Um, the elastic band is kind of worn out a little bit, but they don't have any holes. Yeah, so what are, what's he gonna do with more? Gene is not lying, says Black. Where is the sword? Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, we'll sell that. And it's a deal. Would you like to sell anything else? No, I'm good. Uh, can I help you with anything else? Please come again. All right. Um, right. Let's stay at the inn. Oh, let's look in the drawers. Not the wall. Nothing particularly interesting. A Pachisi ticket, hell yes. We can go back and gamble. Welcome to the inn. That'll be 16 gold for the night. Would you like to stay the night? Yes, I would. So glad Splashy is using those plane commands because I can't hear it at all on mobile. I'm glad that you can't hear it. 
I can, it, I can really hear it. Good morning. I hope you have a safe trip. Thank you. Okay, was it we go to Kazave, and then the Tower of Champagne was east, or was it west? This is the local diner. Relax and make yourself at home while you enjoy a good meal. Because the villagers made the elves angry, the whole village was put to sleep. Oh god, what village? It's pretty difficult to believe this, but apparently there's an entire village that sleeps somewhere in this world. Entire village? How do I get... How do I get to the, the back of this? Ah, ha ha. If you want to meet with Mama and Papa, they'll be back in the evening. Nope, I just want to rob the place. Her hood. Nothing interesting in that barrel. Also, are the boxers in this game an example of how the guys get worse equipment? I think so, Jane Machine. I, I think that just kind of proved, kind of proved it. Just got a life nut. It would be, it would be me, it would be me continuously if he knew how to trim audio files, says Jesse. Oh, it would be more continuously if, if I knew how to trim audio files. How to trim audio files. Maybe. Um, oh, did I accidentally leave the town? That's not good. Okay. Wasn't there a stairway inside? This house? Oh, I see. It just shows on the... That's how it... The kind of clue that it was there. Um, talk to this guy. We went to the inn. We went to the weapon shop. I think there's... Kind of curious about where this uh, village of asleep people is. Let's go check it out. <clears throat> are there female articles of clothing that are super powerful to G Machine? Yes, G Machine. Near the end of the game, there is like, um, I can't remember, I think it's called the sexy bathing suit. Uh, and it's female only, and it's awesome. I looked at the word B, was like, I need to add more into that sentence and end up merging the two, <laughs> says Jazzy. Now I understand. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go west. So I thought the tower was in the west. Dead hound? This is not good. Cast slow. Mr. Shins is unaffected. Annie Shark unaffected. G Machine, his agility goes down by 49. Trees goes down by 24. Machine still hits everybody. Seven damage. G Machine, thank you for banning the bot. Hot Dragon Quest chick, says Jazzy. Yeah, pretty much. Well, in fact, there's been some drama about changes that they're making to the remake that sort of uh, pare down some of the outfit. Not pare down, but. Uh, um, I don't want to use the word censor because they they make they make some of the outfits more tasteful uh, in the remake is what I've heard and people are freaking out about censorship. Good job, Saribot. Each companion receives twenty nine experience, sixty gold. Trees level nine. We're almost halfway to tree being a sage. Okay. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Caterpillars first. Is a swimsuit like a bikini that covers nothing but gives like 80 defense? Exactly, Gene Machine. That's what it that's essentially what it is. Doesn't sound like too bad of a modification. No, I agree, Jazzy. I, I'm all for it. Anything that makes that makes a game more inclusive and let and more comfortable for all players, I I, I can embrace. 
but of course, you know, some people are up in arms about it. I steal the hot singles in your area, so probably. <laughs> also, I have proof. Magic female armor, yes, exactly. And I, I, I theorize that that the inclusion of it was kind of a misguided attempt to be. Oh, we just lost Danny Shark. Um, to be more inclusive of female players. But uh, could have the opposite effect. Okay, we've got to get back to town. Hi, Phoenix Force. How are you, sir? Okay, we're going to do Caterpillar. Do female players still get better equipment, says Gene Machine? I don't know. In the remake, I have no idea. I assume that they would kind of preserve that aspect of the game, but I could they, they might not. Okay. Back to town. We have a dead person. Our healer, of all people. Okay, where's the church? There it is. Trustworthy servant of God, what do you seek at our church? Um, a resurrection? Who would you like to revive? Um, the one dead person? That requires a donation of 70 gold. Is that okay? Almighty God, if it is your will, please resurrect your servant, Annie Shark. Shark returns to life. Can I do anything else for you? Nope, that's it. Thank you. Then please be careful. Peace be with you. Okay. Um, how are we doing? Do a quick rest. Not even sure if I was going the right way. Welcome to the inn. There will be 16 gold for the night. Would you like to stay the night? Uh, yes, I would. Please enjoy your stay. Black, thank you for shouting out Phoenix Force. Good morning. I hope you have a safe trip. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to head back west. I hope I'm going the right way. It was either west or east. What was that about necromancy? Necromancy for the win. <laughs> They're just healers that are a little late. <laughs> Pirate software. Okay, dead hounds again. Yeah, they're late. They were they were healed late. It's fine. Not a big deal. Jesus. Trees Jilly went down. Pretty quickly dodged, good. Sometimes she surprises us. Like they're trying their best, says Jazzy. Eight damage. We need to heal Annie Shark. Annie Shark is getting beat up. Um, spell. Okay. Off we go. They just have poor time management. <laughs> G Machine is now my strongest attacker. And attacking all four enemies at once, whole groups of enemies at once, hitting double digits. Shin's agility goes down by 16, Annie Sharks by 12, Gene Machine's unaffected, Tree's unaffected. A 
eight. Three. That's right, I am, says <laughs> G-Machine. Mr. McCool, hello, sir. Thank you for being here. Hope you are well as well. Okay, 29 experience, 60 gold. Do I want to cross the bridge or go up here? Rogue Knight. Finish him! Well, damage. Oof. We're doing like one and two damage. Tree mist. There we go. I think we could handle one guy. Um, any shark heal? Gene machine could probably use it. <laughs> Black, thank you for shouting out Mr. McCool. Guys, please give Mr. McCool a follow. If you haven't already, that is. All right. This is just a dead end. Oh, what do we have here? Caterpillar, Killer Bee, and Trick Moth. I haven't seen a Killer Bee yet, so we're going to do the Killer Bee first. Moth is already gone. Thanks, Gene Machine. Killer Bee attacks. Killer Bee is dead. Okay. This was definitely the wrong way to go. Caterpillar is such a gangster, says Gene Machine. Um, I think I actually want to have Annie Shark use her heal spell on Mr. Shins. Tree runs her fingers through her hair and seductively traces a finger down the nape of her neck. <laughs> Useful. Shin's agility goes down. Any shark is unaffected. G machine's unaffected. Tree's unaffected. Oh no! An update for my webcam was released, and it made me and made it look like crap. That's not good. Can you uh, undo the update? These guys are draining my agility. Okay. I'm gonna figure it out, but still annoying. Yeah, that's very annoying, Jazzy. I'm sorry. To be frank, it only cost me $50. <laughs> well, it's nice that it's getting updates, I guess. That they're trying to fix it, make it better. Well, making it worse. A little frustrating, I guess. Okay, we go across here. Oh, that must be our tower. Okay, Champagne Tower. Killer Bee, Batman, Army Crab. Let's do the Batman first. Five damage from Killer Bee. 
Nine damage from the crab. Focus on the crab. Tree suddenly drops to the ground. Tree dozes off and starts snoring. Tree! Crab is killing us. Um, do I have... I'm trying lighting it on fire. Seven damage. Tree's asleep. Eleven damage from the fire. Good. All right, let's take a look at our... Heal Mr. Shins. Tree needs a heal as well. Hello. Hi. <laughs> what you doing? Getting back to work. Getting back to work. Okay. Have fun. All right. Ah, there's a stairway. Let's try that. <laughs> My baby girl, says Jazzy. A oh, rogue knight. A healer arrives to help. Um, I suppose we should take out the healer. Thirty-seven damage. That'll do it. Two damage. Rogue Knight calls out for help. Oh, there's the airplane. Good lord, they're flying low tonight. Pardon me. 21 damage. Dang. Thank you for using the plane command. Okay. Um, we need to heal. Just Mr. Shins. Wrecked, hello! Well, 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 if it isn't the Mr. of the Shins. Nice to see you, Wrecked. Okay. Killer Bee, Batman, Army Crab, and Gas Cloud. Um, I haven't seen Gas Cloud, so we'll start with that. Batman attacks. Nine damage to Mr. Shins. Gas Cloud's done. Killer Bee's done. Okay. Um, let's go for the Batman. Gotta watch out for the bee. Was that another one, says, says Jesse? Yeah, it was another plane. Batman, says Wrecked. Yeah, it was Batman. That was Batman. Any sharks getting getting low. I'm gonna have any shark heal herself. Six damage. G machine is hitting really hard. Doing good here. Okay, this looks familiar. I think this is the way Ortega went. This is this is a place that Ortega definitely visited. Okay, I think we can just do the crabs. damage from the killer bee. 
tree takes 10. And from the army crab, Gene Machine takes 5. Okay, um... Heal Mr. Shins. No wrecked? Shame. I shall take it up with the Union. <laughs> what do you mean, wrecked? No wrecked. Oh, well, you weren't here. What is it? Who's in your stream right now? Uh, wrecked and Jazzy and Gene Machine, Snowy McCool, The Fool, uh, Black. Somebody, Yuki was here. It just occurred to me. Somebody Itchy was here. that they do coding. What? I think somebody mentioned they do coding. Who does coding? I don't remember. I think it's true. Oh, okay. No. Take it up with the union, right? Oh, any shark's not doing well. Shins takes eight. Annie Shark takes 11. Oh, she's got one left. Okay, Mr. Shins is going to heal Annie Shark. Yeah, so, Wrecked, it was basically just people that were in the chat when we when we did the naming. I wish I did, did coding, says Jazzy. Let's see. I think it'd be a good idea for her to heal Mr. Shins as well. goes by Piney. Unless she's thinking of Themy's partner who does coding, Piney. Maybe. That might be it. I think it is. So, Thank you, Slashy. I was but, just checking out the, the Discord server. <laughs> uh, so, um, Wittershin's team lost their coder. Yesterday or today? Today. Today. Like a couple hours ago. A couple hours ago, and they need to replace their coder. Um, so they need somebody that can code in RenPy and was willing to step in. All goods, wifey, says Jazzy. <laughs> yeah, oh no, yeah, it's, it's, it's no fun. Like, they are, what, 10 days away, 11 days away from having to turn in, Whee! having less to turn than. in the game? Less than, like less, nine days away. Nine Yuki days away. Yuki just raided with one view. A second raid from Yuki? Hi, Yuki. Yuki, thank you for the raid, sir. Okay, we're gonna go inside here. This is definitely a place that Ortega went. Okay, just fight away. Eight damage. Tree. Nine damage. Tree. Oh, what did what what happened with tree? <laughs> Hi, Yuki. <laughs> Everyone act like that command did anything, says Rekt. Thank you for the raid, Yuki. Appreciate it. Uh let's focus on Batman. Okay, but Annie Shark needs to heal herself. Tree is getting low. 10 damage to any shark. Uh, okay. Do the killer bee. Any shark will heal tree. What's happened? What, what happened to Gene Machine? Um, we'll have tree use. Not sure what happened to it. Alright, I gotta go to bed for work. Apologies, lads. Thanks for popping in, Rekt. I hope you're doing okay, sir. Take it easy.
Okay, what is the... Oh, okay, we'll use an item then. Black, thank you for shouting out, Wrecked. Kisses. <laughs> when Black, thank you for shouting out, Yuki. I appreciate that. Okay, we got the Batman. G-Machine has become paralyzed. Oh, shoot. How do we unparalyze Gene Machine? Any sharks level nine? Great. Gene Machine's level ten. Gene Machine learns location. Okay. Um, what gets rid of paralysis? Oh, I forgot to do this. Fur hood. Might as well. Quit. Um, and then I'll give this... Give it to tree. All right. Some item management, put a life nut in a bag, put a cheesy ticket in a bag. Antidote, I would think, would not, not be it. What's the full moon herb? Try that. The machine's numbness went away. Did that work? It did. Fantastic. Glad we had a full moon herb on hand. Okay, items. Who's got the most herbs? Gene has a lot. Let's give a medical herb to Mr. Shins. Gene needs one. I love Mr. McCool's affirmative th uh, threats. Okay. Mr. Shins could use it. I think we're... Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and do one more. All right. We go up. Tasty underscore 07 just raided with Itchy. three viewers. Itchy, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, can I get a shout out for Itchy? I was lurking you, sir. Appreciate that very much, sir. How are you doing? Um, so if you guys haven't followed Itchy, please give him a follow. He is lovely. I am well, thank you for the shout out and for the lurk earlier, my pleasure. Um, thank you for the raid. If you want a raid, I'll give you a raid. <laughs> yeah, much appreciated. We're just playing Dragon Quest here. Um, uh, if anybody has come in from Itchy, if you don't know me, I'm Mr. Shins. Uh, I play games with stories. Uh, we're doing Dragon Quest Three for the Super Famicom right now, uh, and we are in Champagne Tower looking for Kandar. Uh, apparently, some thieves have taken up residence in this tower. Yeah, apparently. Uh, uh, Itchy, sir, if you need to raid and run, no, no worries. 
Um, but thank you again for, for being here and for, for for blessing us with your presence. You are from my raid. You have not followed Mr. Shin's do it now. <laughs> I think I was, I think I, I'm, like, since I was looking, I'm one person. What's a Kandar? Kandar is the guy who stole the golden crown from the king of, uh, um, Roma. Romali? From the king of Romali. We're gonna fight the venom worms now. The venom worm disgorges a toxic breath. Mr. Shins resists the poison. Any shark's poisoned? No, G Machine's poisoned. Just fatherly affirmation. Itchy, I do have an affirmation for you. Spike Wombat adjusted the thermostat. What? what? Spike Wombat. Uh, affirmations first. Itchy, your sense of responsibility and empathy bring stability and warmth to everybody that you encounter, and you are such a responsible and caring individual. I'm very proud of you. The fatherly affirmations with Mr. Shen. Spike Wombat, why have you adjusted the thermostat? What's going on? I can't believe you adjusted the thermostat. It's crazy. We, we've had this discussion. Please don't adjust the thermostat. Damn, I love that. Says the chief. Underscore 07 just oh, dad joke. yes, I do have a dad joke. In fact, um, Itchy. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Ten tickles. This has been Dad Yuki Jokes with Mr. Shins. Yuki, what you and what you and Spike Woman, why are you guys adjusting the thermostat? You know that it's set where it where it needs to be. We, we can't be adjusting the thermostat. It's it costs us. It costs us too much money. The the when it turns turns on and then goes off again, it it uh, increases the uh, the amount of wear and tear on the system. Daniel says so this I one time. Forgetting your I'm forgetting my own lines. Is that what he said? How old am I? I don't know. Uh, we just got a chest. Uh, thank you guys for uh, doing the redeems. The antidote herb. I'm glad we got antidote herbs because we needed them. Uh, item. Mr. Shins has a couple. Use on any shark. And use one on G Machine. No more poison. No more poison for any of us. Okay, did I? Oh, yeah, I was in there. Okay. Someone say herb? <laughs> I have a funny story to tell. Um, where Herb is concerned. So, right now, TwitchCon is going on. And, um, you guys know Jeff Yard and Doom Prinny? They are in town, and I met them. Um, we got burritos yesterday. Um, and I, and I gave them a ride into the convention center. Uh, but on their way in, some guy gave them a big, huge bag of weed. Just being friendly. And I don't know, as a as a Californian I, and an American, I don't know whether to be like proud or embarrassed. I'm kind of both. So yeah, I have a I have a picture, I have a picture of this that uh, Prinny sent me of this giant bag of weed that they got. And they don't they don't smoke, so they don't know what to do with it. <laughs> My father-in-law was like, "Don't tell them not to sell it. It's illegal to sell it." Uh, okay. We gotta be getting close. I'm gonna check my everybody's vitals. 55, any shark needs to use an herb. That's right, I said herb. Um, and anybody else? Uh, G Machine's sort of okay. Tree's okay. I think Mr. Shins can actually use one. All right. I'll take it, says Yuki. Come come on down, Yuki. They're here for a little bit through the weekend. Throw it on the top of the next family bonfire, says says the Spike Wombat. I don't know. I don't like I don't know what to say about it. It's like kinda crazy. Oh, that's a new guy. Demon stool. 
Let's fight the demon stool. And everyone will be high wombat. <laughs> this is the Neil. <laughs> Okay, we got the demon stool. Worst poop joke. The gas cloud casts blaze? Oh no. Oh, we killed it before it before it got us. That's good. Alright. Where is this guy? Where is this group of thieves? Atlantis, hello. Everyone will see their spirit animal on the bonfire. <laughs> exactly. Atlantis, welcome. Thank you for being here. Okay. Maybe demon stools aren't so bad. Red door. We have a thief's key so we can open red doors. Rogue knight. Ten from Gene Machine, eleven from Mr. Shins. Rogue Knight calls for help. We're gonna take out the healer first. The tree tries to do a trick but falls over. Rogue Knight was accidentally hit by a weapon. <laughs> Miss Rogue Knight does uh, does no damage. Okay. Healer casts heal. Rogue Knight is healed. Any shark takes 14 damage. Uh, Black, thank you for shouting out Daniil. Appreciate that. I'm sure everybody knows Daniil, but if you haven't followed Daniil, he's amazing. He's playing uh, Chrono Cross right now. And uh, he, he will answer all my annoying questions about Chrono Cross. Like last night, I was like, was it last night? Losing track of time. Last night I was like, who's the hardest character to get, Daniil? It's like, ah, uh, Mr. Shins, I guess. Maybe, maybe Janice is the hardest to get? I don't know. Jesus, play the game. Next time someone adjusts a thermostat, make them smoke the entire bag of weed as punishment. <laughs> Spike, bad. Spike, that's, that's not the kind of parent I want to be. <laughs> Friggin' Cronich? Daniel Quaid? I gotta, I gotta look that word up. I gotta look the word up. I don't know what it means. Okay, Tree has her own medical herbs. She's going to use. Um, anybody else need? Okay, Mr. Shins is okay. Annie Shark is sort of okay. Gene Machine is down by like 20. 21. Okay. Snoochy Boochie, says Yuki. <laughs> Cronich. Gotta be getting close. Ah, uh, these guys look like thieves. Get a load of those weirdos. We better go tell the boss about them. No, no, come back here. Just let us kill you. God damn it. You've done well to make it here. Too bad you'll never catch us, suckers. Go! Oh. oh, we'll just go back up. Dumb thieves. Aww. Well, they couldn't have gone far. Ha. Huh. Stubborn fools, I'm gonna kick your ass! Pokewitch? Pokewitch? Bluntman and Chronic? Want to see my pet Cronich? <laughs> Daniel, the only thing I think of is like Cronut, which is like a. What is it? Like a cake donut? <laughs> Alright, Kandar and three henchmen. So, everybody focus on Kandar. 7, 12, 11, 8. Tree suddenly tries to run. Tree, stay here! Croissant donut, that's what it is. 
tree takes 11 damage. Two damage. G Machine dodged the first attack. Ooh, tree took 15. Tree's gonna die. Tree took 18. Tree's gone. That's not good. Ah, well. 9, 12, 9, 5. 14 to Mr. Shins. 34 to Annie Shark and she's done. 18 to Mr. Shins. This is not going well. Um, maybe I can... Is it worth trying to expel? I don't think it's going to work. Banish one enemy. I think I have to use my heal, my healing magic instead. So, Jean is currently a 65, but I'm not doing well. You're gonna kill Tree? Who are you, Jazzy? <laughs> what do you mean? Jazzy would never kill Tree, would she? <laughs> Tits. No. No to Neil. Snatch Neil. Dear Neil. Snooch. S don't say snooch. <laughs> I'll say what I want. It's rude. <laughs> Don't tell me what I should, shouldn't say. You <laughs> set off Wittershins, Daniil. Daniil just said snooch. Snooch, snooch. Jazzy spent entire streams killing trees. Oh, that's right, Shoe Machine. You're right. Okay. 11 damage. 12. Uh oh. 29. Okay. Gotta heal myself. Come on, G Machine. By Bombat just redeemed fatherly affirmation. Spike, I do have a fatherly affirmation for you. Spike Wombat. Even though the world can be intimidating, your character and your values uh, are a beacon of light. You are growing into such a remarkable person. And I'm honored to be your dad. This has been Fatherly Affirmations with Mr. Shins. G Machine took 13. Oh, Mr. Shins is dead. It's all up to G Machine. Kandar just took him down by 25. Okay, we do. I left him with one medical herb. Oh no. Up to 35. I, I don't think we're going to make it. Seeker just traded with 15 viewers. Eckerd? Eclipser, hello. Guys, thank you for the raid. Um, can I get a shout out for Eckerd? Serena, hello. Ari, hello. Dang. Four on one? <laughs> you can do it, Gene Machine. You can do it. Maybe. Probably not. I think we're about to die. Mr. Shin's healing our daddy issues one redeem at a time, says Ari. Me raid! Hi, Eckerd. Thank follow. you so much. Eclipser, Eclipser, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, you guys? Please give uh, Eckerd a follow. Hi, I'm Eckerd, he, him, and I love RPGs, especially retro. My favorite franchises are Final Fantasy, Pokemon, Tales of, Persona, and every PS1 RPG. Dragon Quest, nice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm late, says Serena. Or rather, Dragon Warrior. No, actually, this one is, this is the, um, the Super Famicom remake of Dragon Warrior 3. So it's, it's, it never came to the US. It's, this is a, Super Famicom with English patch. So you are right, it is Dragon Dragon Quest. This is uh, Soshite Densetsue. Then we're about to die. Or maybe Gene Machine will, will pull it out. We'll see. Um, so thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for sharing your community with me, uh, Eckerd. Um, if you need to raid and run, I totally understand. Uh, but, uh, for anybody that doesn't know me, subscribed for seven months. Mr. Legend, okay, thank you so much for the very generous subscribe. Three stream, lol. 
Ex uh, probably uh, for us next weekend, Mr. Legend. Um, oh, so for anybody who doesn't know me, I'm Mr. Shins. Um, I play games with stories, a lot of RPGs, visual novels, that kind of thing. Um, and you are welcome here. Excited to play this again Friends with the new remake. Me too, Eckerd. Community lore. Ari, what do you, who do you want to ask of lore from? Gloria! Gloria, I saw your video today. Welcome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and we'll have, yeah, G-Machine die and perish and we'll, we'll get wiped out. Womp womp. You killed me. I didn't kill you. You you died. G Machine, it was not my fault. You were the last one standing. Oh, Mr. Shins, how could this have happened to you? I'll give you another chance. Mr. Shins needs 458 experience points before reaching the next level. If you are scared of plane sounds, watch this stream on mute, says Jesse. We live under the flight path. No! <laughs> it's my wife. Who is a plane? Uh, Jazzy says... Oh, no. Ari says, Mr. Shin Megami Tensei needs to spill the lore tea. What a... What a... Oh, Black, thank you for shouting out Ari and Shin the Legend. Yeah, um, Mr. Legend for the Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, we were going to play with Yuki tomorrow. Um, and then uh, hopefully we'll we'll start with uh, Grandpa and yourself next week. Seems like the top games everyone's been playing lately is Persona 3, Dragon Quest, and Chrono Cross. Yeah, they, they have been going around, haven't they? Tell us the lore of how your wife turned into an airplane, says G Machine. It was Jazzy's fault. Pretty sure. This is like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Jazzy wanting me to be a plane definitely was... Yeah, the Jazzy wanting going to be a plane is the, the thing. So I missed it. Did choose choose Mr. Shin Megami Tensei for lore. Look, Ari, you could have just done Mr. Shin's lore and saved 3,000 points. Um, thank you for shouting out Serena. You guys, uh, please give Eckerd and Serena a follow. And Eckerd, am I saying your name right? I've 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 watched your stream, so I feel like I should know how to say it. But it is Eckerd, right? Not Eckerd. Like seriously, I need to step into uh, into this world too. You do, Serena. I wanted to flex. Six K. <laughs> Gloria just redeemed fatherly affirmation. Gloria, I do have an affirmation for you. Gloria, uh, when things feel uncertain and overwhelming. Please remember Flashy that I believe in you, the and I will always support you. And I am proud of you. This has been Fatherly Affirmations with Mr. Shins. Jazzy, did you just adjust the thermostat? Oh my god. I can't believe you adjusted the thermostat. I, uh, we just had this discussion. I, the thermostat is set right where it needs to be to, to optimize the comfort of the stream and to keep us from spending too much money on, on power. I can't... Uh, we're going to have a talk later. We're going to have to talk later. Serena says they're just sitting in the backlog. I have too many games. Tell them the lore of that one morning in Chinatown. Oh, we could do that one. <laughs> okay. Ari, as the redeemer of this lore, do you want to hear the story about... Uh, um, the Chinatown story? You haven't told the Chinatown st story in a while. Do people know it? I, I don't know. Thermostat adjusters unite. I saw what you said a, a moment ago. Hell yeah, Yuki. Just followed. Lantis, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, we'll switch to the just chatting screen. And Ari, I will... <laughs> My wifey shins laugh, so it sounds good. Okay, so we'll go to the just chatting screen and I will tell um, a story that I've told before. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Shins needs 458 experience points before reaching the next level. It's a lot of experience points. Uh-oh. My controller seems to have disconnected. What am I going to do? Try unplug and replug?
Hmm, it's not working. Check the input configuration. Seems to be set. No, I don't want to restart. I think we might need to do a game restart. Gonna set us back some. I think I screwed it up. Yep, that's a ways back. <laughs> Shoot. Well, here we are. Serena, thank you for the lurk. The blackened screen, says Jazzy. Yep. Okay. So at least we know where we need to go now. And we lost some... lost some progress, but that's okay. We'll make it up. Kind of a bummer. One of the, uh, one of the things about playing on an emulator. That means you never got me killed, says Jimmy Yeah, we're we, we've gone back in time and, and, uh, you never died. None of us ever died. It never happened. But we are like two two levels behind what we were. Um, but that means we can go try and play Pachisi again. Pachisi was really good because that's where we got our... Um, whatchamacallit, uh, our boomerang. Oh, we need to focus on the healer. Okay, healer. There we go. Whoops. Healer. Oops. I, I did the thing again where I'm just jamming on the button and not paying attention. Okay, healer, 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 healer. Healers is he gonna call? 16. Was that oh that was Gene Machine? I think we can get him now. Oh, Gene Machine's down to one. Not here for that, says Jean Machine. You're gonna get me killed. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Everybody's fine. We're gonna go play Pachisi. We're gonna see if we can get another boomerang. Pachisi! There's no one in that direction. Oh, wait. Ah, again I failed. But I won't give up. Someday I'll finish this. The guy that says there's a hole in the ceiling. Look, there's an opening up there in the ceiling. I wonder what's up there. Ooh, I found another Pachisi ticket. Oh, I've got two shots this time. Fantastic. Welcome. One game of Pachisi will be one ticket. Would you like to try it? Yes, I would. 
Then please give me your ticket. You will be given 10 turns to complete this board. Good luck. Here we go. Roll dice. Three, four. There's a treasure chest. Will you open it? Yes. Found a sacred knife. I hope it works. Okay, that's one. One roll. Here's two. One, two. Um, I believe to the right is where we got the boomerang. So let's go to the right. Found a leather hat. One, two, three. 100 gold, good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, open the drawer. Ooh, another Pachisi ticket. We have two more shots. One, two, three, four, five. Treasure chest with open it, yes. Life nut, good. I feel like we're doing pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes! Fantastic. First try. Well done, you won! Now claim your prizes and exit through that hole. But don't fall down there before claiming your prizes, or else you'd have to do it all over again. Open the chest, 500 gold. Steel sword. What do these plaques say? It says, the first king of Pachisi. Is that what this one says too? Yep. Well done, you won! Okay. Woohoo! All right. Um, so there was, okay, leather hat. Oh, who, who can do the Sacred Knight? Um, Gene Machine, it's less. Tree, it's less. Any Shark, it's less. It just means that I need to upgrade. Um, what about the bag? Didn't the bag have a sword? Steel sword. Uh, give to Mr. Chins. Oh yeah, attack 60. We'll put the sacred knife in the bag. Um, the leather hat. Oh, and hard heart can be equipped. Copper sword can go in the bag. Leather hat. It uh, is the same. I put Gene Machine's defense up. Give it to Annie Shark. She needs better defense. Okay. Smart book can go into the bag. You know, in the old game, I don't remember there even being a bag. I wonder if I, is that an addition, or is it just that I remember... Like, do I remember things <laughs> wrong? I don't. I don't think I. I don't think there was a bag in the NES version. Okay. I think we're good. I kind of want to play Pachisi again. See if I can get more stuff. That was pretty lucrative. Given that we're going to be facing, uh, what's his name? One game of Pachisi would be one ticket. Would you like to try it? Then please give me your ticket. You'll be given 10 turns to complete this board. Good luck. Let's go. Okay, roll. Oh, interesting. It's empty because I've, I've emptied it. Um, let's go the other way this time. One, two, three, four, five. Leather hat. One, two, 
One, two, three, four, uh oh, five. Oh, that's a good thing. My HP was restored. Don't want a two here. One, two, three. Nothing found on the current panel. One, two, three, four. Six gold. One, two, three, four. We're gonna make it. There we go. Twice in a row. Oh my gods, Mr. Shins, have you heard of have you heard of pesto? Yeah, I make pesto sometimes with um basil and garlic and olive oil and um Oh there's no more there's there's no more prizes here. Oh, as in pesto the penguin. No, Jazzy, who's Pesto the Penguin? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Who's Pesto the The Emperor of Emperor Penguins? You have to search him up. Okay, I will look him up. Okay. I kind of want to go. Well, we can make it to the we can make it to the next town. We can make it to Kasave. Ooh, Annie Shark needs a heal. He is, he is t 20 kilograms? Double the weight of each of his parents? Lord. G-Machine's level nine. Just a huge penguin. A massive baby penguin named Pesto is inhaling fish and winning fans is the news article title. I'm intrigued. Okay, who do we... We want to do the crab first. Tree attacks. Ten damage from the crab. Loss of agility for any shark, gene machine, it's all except tree. Melbourne Zoo has pesto. Just a giant freaking penguin. photo of him in your Discord. Thank you, Jazzy. I appreciate it. I'm intrigued. Nothing like a large penguin to make your day. Okay, we made it back. Um, I don't think anybody's dead. We're all good. Need to go. This is an item shop, how can I help you? Um, nothing, I don't want anything. Take care then. Go stay at the inn. Welcome to the inn. That'll be 16 gold for the night. Would you like to stay the night? Please enjoy your stay. I think I think you need to emphasize that he's a baby, says Jim Sheen. Oh, he's a, he's a baby. He's gonna be gargantuan. Once he hits puberty, it's over. <laughs> Another Pachisi ticket. I've come in pursuit of Kandar. Apparently he's fled to the tower somewhere. To a tower somewhere. We know where he is, he's in Champagne Tower. <gasps> Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm great. You sound great. Like, please just have a glance at him. Okay, okay. He's an alpha pal. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, he's bigger than he's his poor mother. Jesus. Uh, article says he'll probably slim down once he matures. Okay, well, thank goodness for that. Jesse says, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Just want him to continue to be huge. Ah, don't come in here! Okay. Uh, let's go look at the weapons. This is a weapon in an armor shop. What would you like to buy? But I can actually afford something now. Hmm. Chain whip. That would give G Machine a big. Oh, but it's a thousand. I can't afford it. Darn it. The iron armor would be a big thing too, but I can't afford that either. Scale shield would be nice. But I have to come back. Can I help you with anything else? He's so fucking goofy, I love him, says Jazzy. He is he is very adorable and huge. Okay. So I made it here. Is there no place to save? This is the local diner. Relax and make yourself at home while you enjoy a good meal. Because the villagers made the elves angry, the whole village was put to sleep. It's pretty difficult to believe this, but apparently there's an entire village that sleeps somewhere in this world. Can't remember, it was just a kid upstairs. If you want to meet with Mama and Papa, they'll be back in the evening. Oh, maybe I should run around and come back in the evening. Life nut. So do I have to walk all the way back to the castle to say? Okay, I'm gonna do the, the fur hood thing. Take the cheesy ticket and give it to the bag. The boxer shorts can go in the bag. The leather hat. Gene machine could use it. Yeah, we'll give it to Gene machine. Sorry to bully you off your game for pesto, but it was an image you absolutely needed to see. I don't mind at all, Jazzy. <laughs> no worries. Uh, let's see. Oh, the fur hood. So, 26. Or 30. Uh, definitely needs to go to Mr. Shins. And then the wooden helmet. Is it better for anyone? Oh, it's better for any shark. Better for Gene Machine. Better for tree. Tree needs it the most. And then the leather hat. It's not better for anybody else. So we'll put it in the bag. What else can you bully him to do, says Gene Machine? Hopefully throwing out the underwear with ruined elastic. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, now I'm sure I'm sure I'll do that. <laughs> Don't want to abuse the power <laughs> or whatever. OK, um, let's sell some items. Who will be selling uh, something this time? The bag, we will sell things from the bag. We will sell um, the sacred knife. Even though it's sacred? Yeah, we'll sell it.
The uh, leather hat can go. The boxer shorts. Is there anything else? I think that's. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Um, maybe we should buy buy the whip now. Chain whip. Yeah, that'll make a big that'll make a big difference. Chain whip, that's a fine choice. Maybe it's a chain machine. Okay. And then G Machine has the chain sickle. Which I guess will go in the bag for now. I'll sell it later. Okay. I'm curious about coming back at night. Are you more of a Dragon Quest or a Final Fantasy person, Mr. Shins? That's a great question. I, uh, I like them both. I'm probably... I find more... Because Dragon Quest doesn't really change very much. I kind of find... Uh, I, I find Dragon Quest to be a little more comfortable. Um, and I know it better as a result. I also had... Like... Um, way back when... Nintendo Power gave away a copy of Dragon Quest, so everybody had a like everybody who had a Nintendo Power subscription basically had the first Dragon Quest. So um, I had Dragon Quest was one of the first RPGs I ever played. I don't know, but I really like Final like Final Fantasy VI and IX are also like. I mean, IX has been life changing. Um, VI is one of those games that I is like a touchstone. I don't know. Um, I need both. What the fuck? You didn't tell me that Pesto is our children. What? Pesto's our children? Pesto is so goddamn tall. <laughs> tell me that's not the beat. <laughs> I didn't think of it as oh, our that's children. That's a nice eight-year-old child you have there that's four. <laughs> I'm sorry that I didn't... I didn't... Viking throwback children. <laughs> <laughs> well... He's apparently going to slim down with age. Not bad. No, but he's going to slim down. He could be. I told you to tell Wittershins about Pesto, says Jazzy. Pesto is precious. G-Machine says, I was going to say, you have giant children. They are fairly large. I want a pesto plushie, to be honest, says Jazzy. That'd be nice. You'd probably be able to get it. You go to Melbourne Zoo, I bet they'll be making they'll be making plushies. As big as your as big as your body. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to get dark here. It's good. We need to grind anyway. and 27. It's going to take forever. Come on. Bring on the night time. G-Machine's doing 20 damage. And hitting everybody in the party. Slow. Mr. Shin's agility went down. G-Machine's went down. Yes, I am, says G Machine. You're doing a great job, G Machine. I'm, I'm going to try not to kill you. There we 
go. 29 experience and 60 gold. Trees level 9. Okay, we're gonna need to do some healing. Uh, Mr. Shins and Annie Shark and the G Machine's okay. Tree's okay. All right. Just walk around until it gets dark. Uh, caterpillars, for sure. Tree suddenly tries to run, but there is no escape. mistake there. That's okay. We'll do it on the next one. Twenty-two. Sixteen. Killer bees defeated and twelve. Eight. Thirteen. Thirty-seven and sixty-three. Dropped a chest. Full moon herb. Excellent. Hmm. Okay. The crab. The machine is surrounded by a haze of illusions, and so is tree. I think that was why I was so forward with Witter at the beginning. Themia is like a mini Witter, it is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Tree, hello! Our, uh, our sexy jester has returned. Welcome, Tree. Can you give Tree a shout out here? Guys, if you haven't followed Tree, you should give her a follow. Oh yes, I'm here for all your jester needs, says Tree. You are doing okay, Tree. You are level 9. I will gladly follow Tree. You should, Jazzy. You will enjoy Tree. Tree, how are you doing? Miss! Good lord. 11 damage. Oh, Mr. Shins is gonna die. Any shark heal Mr. Shins. is unaffected. Any shark is surrounded by illusions. Okay, one of these days it's going to get dark. Um, really quick. Have Annie heal Mr. Shins again. And herself. And Tree. Tree needs a heal. When do we have the awkward conversation that Jazzy loves to kill trees? <laughs> I, think we're, I think you just started it, Gene Machine. I think, I think we're having it now. Jazzy, what's this about you loving to kill trees? It says awkward tree is right here. Okay, we'll start with the crabs. One damage. Six damage. Oops, says G Machine. G Machine Hush. Killing what now? No, uh, I didn't. It's a uh, 
just a thing that Jazzy's into. I'm a leaf blower revolution and cookie clicker girly, if that is what you mean, says Jazzy. It was for an in-game collection. I'm I'm really thinking about that uh, Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest person uh, question now. I have to I, you know I have to say I think I'm probably more of a Dragon Quest person if I have to choose one or the other. Jazzy, the more I think about it, because I love the like well the stories are not as 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 good they're not as detailed. I love the pastoral fantasy thing. You've never been asked such a deep question in your life. I really haven't. Nobody's ever asked me that. What about you? What about you, Jazzy? Are you a Final Fantasy person or a Dragon Quest person? And anybody else who wants to answer? It's making you discover who you are. Yep. Up until this, up until this moment, I, j I didn't know. I have a deep question for you, Mr. Shins. What is it, a tree? Twenty-eight and twenty-two. Twenty-six. That did it. Okay, um... We're definitely going to need to rest after this. Oh, it's getting dark. We're almost there. Snowmukul says, I want to like both, but when I've tried Final Fantasy, the longevity of the story stopped me carrying on. But then someone pointed out I've been playing Morrowind for nearly a year, so I may give one a try. <laughs> yeah, and... I mean, Morrowind is another, like, not just Morrowind, but like the Bethesda games. There's a, there's a kind of similarity where the stories don't go super deep, but there's this, like, this large, like, it's a, it's a very large kind of specific kind of fantasy world. And I think with Dragon Quest, that's the thing that I'm attracted to. Tree says, I need to know your answer to the dinner party question. If you could have dinner with five people, alive or dead, who would they be and why? Oh, man. Be right back, gonna wash my dishes. Good luck, Jazzy. Um, well, you know, there's there's people that I really admire, like actors that I really admire. I'd like to, like Jimmy Stewart would be somebody that I'd like to uh, have dinner with and talk, talk to. So there's one. Um, and why Jimmy Stewart? Can he speak any language? That's a good question, Jimmy Machine. Question for question: If you are to have dinner with someone that someone that passed, would they be revived or would their corpse be sitting at the table? I would hope. Hopefully, they would be. They would be, you know, a, a revived person that I could talk to, and not like a zombie. Black, thank you for shouting out, Tree. They would be in their prime and that you wanted to meet them in. Do you want to meet baby Robin Williams, a 30-year-old? Do you, do you know? Um, Jimmy Stewart uh, is somebody that I want to meet because I'm interested in his... I'm interested in his process as, as an actor, which he's kind of, in, in terms the when you watch him, He's ahead of his time. I believe that he's ahead of it. He was ahead of his time. And I'm and I've always been curious about why or what how or what he was doing in his process to appear to be ahead of his time as an actor. At the time he was an actor. Not to sound redundant. So there's one. Uh I don't know, I'm not I'm not really interested in meeting politicians or visionaries. There are some scientists that I'd like to meet. I, I, I would have liked to have met um, um,
I, I would like to meet. I would have liked to have met Einstein. Um, however, I know that he would have been bored by me. <laughs> but I'd like to pick Einstein's brain. Okay, let's do the caterpillars first. So, Einstein's interesting because, in my opinion, because he understood so much about space-time and the fabric of the universe, or at least he had these theories, and since his death, he'd be lucky to meet you. That's very, very kind of you to say, Tree. Since his death, uh, he has a lot, like, many, many Einstein theories have been proven to be correct. Um, I would like to tell him that. Like, hey, this was correct. This was correct. And and see what his response would be. It would be like, oh, yeah, of course it was. It's math. Of course it was correct. Um, or if he, if like, like what his, uh, what his take would have been on on, on some of the, the things about the nature of the universe that he understood before anybody else. That would be interesting. Uh, so that's two. Boy, this is, this is tough. I don't... Who else would I like to meet? I'm not really interested in, in politicians. Although... You know, uh, not politicians, but I would have liked to have met, um... Oh shoot, I'm blanking on his name right now. I'm having fight or flight. Uh, he was a slave. He taught himself to read and, and got away to the north. I'm trying to remember his name. He would be horrified on what we used his discoveries to create, says Gene Machine. What about Nelson Mandela? Maybe? I, I, Nelson Mandela didn't die that long ago. I think it might be kind of interesting to see... to meet people who, whose ideas or discoveries had a big impact and kind of get their take on <laughs> how we've used those ideas. Without a name, how can we summon them, says Tree. Oh, shoot. Let me use my phone here really quick. And... I read his biography. I should remember his name. Frederick Douglass. Duh. Um, I'd be very interested to, to, uh, to hear what Frederick, Frederick Douglass thinks about how the world is now. So if you don't know the story of Frederick Douglass, he was a slave in the South, antebellum South. Um, ah, it's finally dark. We can go back and talk to this kid's parents. Oh, old guy is still out. Even a very weak magician can bring down a monster by hitting a vital point with a poison dagger. Long ago, they used to sell them at the item store. Sell them at the item store. Those people would flip out. Um, so yeah, Frederick Douglass uh, was a slave. He he tricked kids to teach him to teach him to read. He's like we he basically taught himself how to read. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> this, this list is very thoughtful and profound. Layla's like Catherine O'Hara, Brian, Brian, uh, Brian Deckard. Oh, he's from too long ago, says Gene Machine. Guys, just hey, there's a skeleton in the graveyard. Who's this? When I was alive, I used to be a great fighter. They say I defeated a grizzly with my bare hands. But the truth is, I was using the iron claws. <laughs> iron claws. Maybe I should get some iron claws. He's from Detroit Become Human. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Um... Yeah, so Frederick Douglass was the slave. He taught himself how to read. He freed himself. He ran away. And he became a great abolitionist. Um, wrote a book on his experience. So I think he... I think I'd, I'd like to pick his brain. No, oh, they're closed already? Already? It's nighttime. Go home. It's rumored that the elves live hidden in the forest west of Noannuals. Forest west of Noannuals. Please stop that. My husband might see you. Oh, uh, I must have dozed off. Well, that's weird. What's going on there? Kids asleep. Look through their stuff. Well, I met a skeleton and... Okay, so that's three. Think of anybody else? Poison dagger. Did I just steal this? The club. The club. If I talk to this guy now, he'd be like, give me back my poison dagger. Oh no, he's asleep. Okay feel kind of... I'm compiling a secret list based on how many people answer and, and give me ideas. Also, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> um, I have a long list of actors that I admire that I'd like to talk to. I, I'm, I, I don't know. It's hard. People in history, you know. There's another like person associated with uh, abolitionism, uh, John Brown. I would like to meet John Brown. Is that guy? He was dedicated to the cause. Welcome to the inn. You must be tired at this hour of the night. That'll be sixteen gold for the night. Would you like to stay the night? Yes. Please enjoy your stay. A lot of people said John Brown was crazy, but I think it was the opposite. I think that John Brown had a very, it was very clear in his head what needed to happen. And that's why he was so freaking violent. Even uh, Abel K said that. Abel K said it? It must be true. Another Twitch streamer said, Jesus Christ, and I about fell over dead. Why didn't I think of that? I got some things to say to that guy. I feel like my list would end up being chaos. Let's find out what, what the guy's deal actually was. Because I call BS. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not interested in, in uh, religious figures. Not really. But John Brown? I'd be interested in meeting John Brown. And, and talking to John Brown about, you know... Did you really think, like, what, what made you feel that it was necessary to basically engage in war? And I, th like, I honestly kind of feel like he, like he understood better than most people what was at stake. Um, but history, like, treats him like he was just insane. And I don't think that was the case. However, Doc Brown was a genius, says Black. Tree says I was crying because then she said Jeff Bezos so she could borrow a few bucks. <laughs> you sound like you're pandering to the Midnight Boys. I don't listen to the Midnight Boys, Gene Machine. I don't, I don't. <laughs> I 
don't, I don't listen to them. Did you see the petition to not let Jeff Bezos return to Earth? I did not see that. Yes, and no take backs or list changes. Okay, so so far I've got Frederick Douglass, John Brown, uh, uh, Jimmy Stewart, and uh, and who else? Oh, Einstein. Uh, so, so I got one more. You're not interested in the black perspective on nerd culture? I'm absolutely interested, Gene Machine, but I'm not sure that they... You know what? No, I'm gonna... You know what? I love them. They're great. I did not listen to the whitest movies draft. I knew I was gonna be... I was gonna be upset by it. One more, one more. Tree just had some kind of problem in the game. Tree, this is a this is a great question. I'm I'm glad that you asked me this. It's making me think about <sighs> about people and uh, that I admire. You know, I I think I would, I might regret it. Uh, although not exactly a political figure, I would like to meet Benjamin Franklin. Um, I think I would be disappointed. Retro Ghost, hello. Welcome, sir. I would like to smack Chris Columbus in the face. He's not invited to dinner. Yeah. See, that's a, that's the kind of thing. I, I know that, like, I would probably actually be frustrated by talking to Ben Franklin. Um, okay. Where did the castle go? Oh, through the forest. Should heal any shark here. It's been a lot of grinding. Let's not ruin our supper, says Tree. <laughs> we can make a separate list of people we want to have words with. <laughs> Jimmy Sheen says, Tree, have you gotten any really good non-Western historical figures? chest we open the chest we got a medical herb okay get back to the castle back to Romilly and we'll go to the king and save no most people just say Robin Williams which I don't understand yeah I don't I I mean Great performer, but uh, no, to each their own. He'd be really funny at dinner. <laughs> Mr. Shins needs 20 experience points before reaching the next level. Annie Shark needs 630 experience points. Gene Machine needs 66 experience points. Tree needs 235 experience points. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Which file should I record your progress in? It's the best list so far. Hey. Oh. Shoot. I accidentally stopped the journey. Turn off the power. No, no. We're just going to reload. Load. Load game. Continue. I have loads of experience, Mr. Shin, says Tree. Never heard a king utter those words before, says Jazzy. Jazzy, I... Welcome back. 
Yes, we know. We know our experience. Can't he just tells me? He loves telling me. I heard about what happened to Ortega. I see. Would you like to continue? Bashi, yes. Jazzy just redeemed Mr. Shin's law. Mr. Shin's lore, Jazzy, what would you like to uh what would you like to talk about? Wait, what's going on? Do you Do you have one more slot left, Mr. Shins? One more slot. No, I don't. What about Akira Toriyama? You know, I I don't know. I, I don't know what I would say to Akira Tomori. I'm a, I'm a big fan of his work, but do I have one more slot? Uh, I, wasn't that it? Where or, or so we had Einstein, Frederick Douglass, um, uh, 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 John Brown, um, Jimmy Stewart. No, I guess it uh, and Ben Franklin. Right? Is that it? Wittershins, help us out on the lore, says Tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do I need to do? Uh, uh, what, uh, Tree, what, what, uh, or, or Jazzy, what, uh, what, do you have any lore question? Oh, I don't have a specific one. I was hoping you would have one lined up. Um, I don't have one lined up, but, um. Give us a theme. Give us a theme, okay. A theme. Give us a theme, and I will, I will see if I can't come up with it. Kandar stole our golden crown and escaped from the kingdom with it. Please help us get it back, and I'll recognize you as a true hero, Mr. Shins. Gee, Miss Shin. Did she ever answer the question on if she saw him as a piece of ass? Talking about you? Yeah, about me. You were hot. Were? Oh. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, uh, that feels like a Witter Shins lore, not a Shins lore. Ask me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that is the lore we need, says Jazzy. Well, you can ask me tomorrow, Jazzy. <laughs> well, tomorrow. Oh yeah, I guess tomorrow you're be we'll be on tomorrow. Okay, I was like, we're what's gonna happen tomorrow? Okay, can we please have a Wittershins lore redeem? Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> Wittershins, are you willing? Yes. Yes. She is willing. Give a second. Give, give, give her a okay. second. No, fine. Here. I'm no, here. fine. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of time, but I got some time. Okay. Please have a seat. We'll go to the just chatting screen. I am having a seat. Back to the game. Thank you, Jazzy, for doing the lore redeem. All right. Uh, I wanted to talk to the old man. Not this old man. Bobby! Come here, boy! Not that old man. Okay. Off we go. Back to Kazabe. See if I can actually beat Kandar tonight. It's kind of the goal. All right, time for me to get some sleep, says G-Machine. Good night and good luck. G-Machine, thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Okay, what happened? Oh, she got poisoned. Um, item. Shins have one? Antidote. Heal thyself. I object, says Jazzy. <laughs> you can't go, Gene Machine. G Machine will be here with in, uh, in spirit as a thief in the party. Really appreciate everybody hanging out, by the way. 
I've so wanted to just play this game every night and not do anything else this week. Uh, but I have other responsibilities. Okay, um, Magician. <laughs> Jesse, you almost got me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well done. Okay, we'll stay at the inn here. What? Will this guy tell me what to do with the... Even a weak magician can bring down a monster by hitting a vital point with a poison dagger. Long ago they used to sell them at the item store. Okay. A monster. So not necessarily a man. Welcome to the inn. You must be tired at this hour of the night. That will be 16 gold for the night. Would you like to stay the night? Please enjoy your stay. Okay. Good morning. I hope you have a safe trip. Thank you, thank you. So, how are we doing? We have eight, 867 gold. We are looking pretty good. We're gonna head west to the Tower of Champagne. Maybe we can actually beat the guy this time. Trick Moth, Army Cram, Caterpillar, and Deadhound. Um, I think the Caterpillar first. damage to the army crab. 15. 12. I feel like we're doing, we're leveled better and we're doing a lot better this time around. So hopefully by the time we get there, we'll be close to level 10. G machine just hit level 10. Good. And we'll be more able to, more able to handle uh, Kandar. You guys are fast. 23, 18, 17, 13. Any shark needs a heal. Oh, she really needs a heal. Experience, 60 gold. Um, take a look. Yeah, Any shark needs to heal up. Anybody else? Mr. Shins is halfway down. Whoops, did I waste it? I did. Everybody else is okay. Tree's actually making some, some doing some good hits here. All right, the Tower of Champagne. Champagne.
Let's do the crabs first. And one. Mr. Shins is unaffected, unaffected, unaffected. We're all unaffected by stop. Good. Sixty up the stairs. Really quick. You won sixty five. What else is okay? I'm sure, I'm missing items here. Oh, wow. He calls for backup, but no one came. <laughs> Seven damage. Eleven. Ten. Oh, Lord. Five and forty eight gold. Okay, keep going. Batman, Batmans. Tree is messing around with some nearby rocks. Tree's leg is hit hard by one of the rocks. Tree takes eight damage. Tree, quit messing around. No, don't hurt me, says Tree. You hurt yourself, Tree. You messed around with a rock and dropped it on yourself. You took eight damage. Okay, and he's gonna heal tree. There we go. Uh, which way? This way? That's where we went last time. Gas clouds. Ugh. There we go. Trees level 10. Awesome. Need to get Mr. Shins up to level 9. <laughs> Trees abilities increase. Apparently, some thieves have taken up residence in this tower. Is that all you have to say? Apparently. Um, any shark. It's 20 points down. Okay. Go, tree, go, says Black.
Oh, one of them ran away. Two shins does not fall asleep. Tree fell asleep. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Just do the demon stools. He's asleep still. like me sleeping away the day no tree you have to to work hard and become a sage you don't have to be nice demon king says so how is everyone doing i'm doing well demon king how are you sir okay we're gonna do the, the batman they seem to be the stairs. I'm gonna run into the this guy some point. At some point. Well, after a 12-hour work shift, brain is mush, says Demi King. Oh, Demi King, by the way, I watched your um your your last YouTube review and it was very entertaining. Are you working on any more YouTube stuff? Good to hear, says Demon King. Okay, here we go. Get a load of those weirdos. We better go tell the boss about them. Nope, come back. Uh, check my... Fifty-eight, sixty-five, thirty-four, forty-nine. Okay, we're set. I'm trying, but my second game is taking priority at the moment. It takes so much time. It takes so much. You've done well to make it here. Too bad you'll never catch us, suckers. No, no, we're gonna catch you. Stubborn fools, I'm gonna kick your ass. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna focus on the henchmen this time. Thirty-three damage to tree, taking tree on one hit. Dang it! Well, I'm gonna stick to my plan here. Mr. McCool says, "Righto, gotta go. Thank you for the stream. Always enjoy these on a morning. Take care and speak soon." Mr. McCool, thank you. I hope you have a good day, sir. I'll see you on the next one. Demon King says, yeah, I just got the audio mixer to work. Mostly up next, I'm working on cutscenes. Very good. Okay. Mr. Shin's took 23. Okay, so... We have to focus on... Healing. Just heal myself. Have Annie. 
heal herself. Have G Machine do an item. Mr. Shin's here. Nope, G Machine took 25. Okay. Now we'll have Mr. Shin's do the heal. Oh, not enough. So instead, item. Uh, it's gotta go to Gene. to Mr. Shins. Right now, I think I have a rough template of what I'm after, said Stephen King. Shark uses the medical herb, thank goodness. Uh oh, uh oh, Mr. Shins took 30, okay. Got one more medical herb here. That will go to Annie Shark. Myself. I'm gonna fight Kandar. Just Kandar. Sixteen damage from Gene Machine. Any shark can fight. Thirteen damage. For the two. Twenty damage to Gene Machine. He'll heal Mr. Shins. Shark can fight. Thank you, Saribot, for banning the bots. Machine should probably use an herb. Two damage. Last medical herb for Gene Machine. 16 damage. Another one. Nine. Only Annie Shark were hitting a little harder. Yes, let's thank the robot for doing a human's jobs as Black. But, but it did it so fast!
27 damage to Gene Machine. Eight. Cast a heal. You are not wrong, says Black. What is Annie Shark not doing enough for you? Uh, she, uh, her hits are her hits are. She's taking like two damage. She's the healer, so she doesn't she doesn't really need to be a hard hitter. Ooh, Mr. Shins needs, needs to heal. Uh, but we can't, so we need two medical herbs left. Five damage. Miss! Everybody just fight now. Thirty damage. Um I'm not going to use my last medical herb on on Annie Shark. She's just gonna have to die, I'm afraid. Twenty-two on G Machine. That could be the end for G Machine. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll use the last one for G Machine. Be the end for Mr. Shins. Finally. Ooh, we did it. Each companion receives 813 experience points. Mr. Shins reaches level nine. Annie Shark's level 10. She learned Surround. Gene Machine's level 11. Learns Location. I give up already. Here, just please take it. The crown is yours. Please, will you spare me? Yeah, I'll spare you. Thank you so much. I'll never forget your gratitude. Bravo, you found the golden crown. Okay, we have to uh, see if we can use... The Wing of Wyvern. Go back to... Romilly. Oh no, I have... Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, let's fall off the edge. Oh no! There we go. Okay, let's go off the edge. And now, let's see if I have an item. I have another, I have it, okay, yeah. Go to Romilly. I hurled the wing of wy Wyvern into the air. Wyvern, Wyvern? Why not, why not, Vern? Um, we have to go to the church. Get thee to a nunnery! Trustworthy servant of God, what do you seek at our church? A resurrection, please. Who would you revive? Tree. That requires a donation of 110 gold. Is that okay? Yes. Almighty God, if it is your will, please resurrect your servant, Tree. Thank you. 
returns to life. Can I do anything else for you? Nope. Then please be careful. Peace be with you. And also with you, Father. Um. Go rest. Welcome to the inn. That'll be 12 gold for the night. Would you like to stay the night? Please enjoy your stay. Okay. Good morning. I hope you have a safe trip. We are back. Let's go talk to the king. Say, you guys hail from Eliahan, don't you? I could tell right away. Robbie! Come here, boy! Okay. Hello, King. Oh, this is amazing. You'll return the golden crown. You're a true hero. You'd make a great king. If you agree, the throne will be yours immediately. So, how about it? Would you like to become this country's new ruler? Um, should I be a king? No. Why not? Crumble under pressure. <laughs> get out of the way. <laughs> Are you going, you're going to make another drink? I am going to get some water. And... Do you yes. mind, would, may I ask if you would mind bringing me a water as well? Just water, yes. Thank you. You're very kind. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll be the king for a little bit until I crack under the pressure, as my wife says. You will? Then Mr. Shins is the new king. Wait, you're a woman. Romale's never had a woman for a ruler before, but you did defeat Kandar. That alone would make you a great queen. I suppose this will be the day that Romilly has its first queen. I think you should beg next time. <laughs> ah, Queen Mr. Shins. Ah, it's good to be queen. Hello, servant. Long live the queen. Yes, that's right. Hello, other queen. You're superb, Mr. Shins. That's Queen Mr. Shins to you. The former king was too naive. Men too often overlook many of the duties that women view as important. I know you won't do that, though. Romilly is a beautiful place. It reminds me of the Queen, Mr. Shins. Standing here in Romilly, la la la. <laughs> Winter Shins needs to make him beg, asked Black. Whoops. Nothing useful. All hail Queen, Mr. Shins. That's right. I think the power might be going to my head a little bit. I heard the news already. You're our new queen. We must ask that you not leave the town. But why? I'm the queen. I should be able to do what I want. All hail the new queen. Her beauty makes life worth living. Well, don't let's don't make it about beauty. Come on. Can I go open things now? Like what's in here? Doors locked and you don't have the right key. Well, damn it. What good is being queen then? The power in question. <laughs> okay. Um, what's through here? I don't think I have any... Hello. I'm the owner of this house, and even I have to serve the queen. <gasps> oh, this is Queen Mr. Shins? Yes, I'm your queen. I've heard all about Kandar's defeat. It only makes sense that you're our new ruler. Wait, you guys couldn't beat a single, like, band of thieves? You have a whole army. So you're Mr. Shins. You're such a magnificent queen. Thank you, sir. We we'll talk to the guy. The, uh... He crowned you queen! Then he must still be up to his old tricks. There's nothing in here that the queen can use. The queen browsed through the bookshelf. There's no books for the queen in here. The game is, is giving me the title respect that I have earned. Oh, 
What about this door? Door is locked and you don't have the right key. This guy. You're the rumored queen, eh? A woman's really ruling Romilly. And you let Kandar escape? Women are too soft to rule. What? Should I not have let him escape? He begged for mercy. I felt like it was the decent thing to do. He's right. He's, it's probably going to come back to bite me. Okay. Thank you. Very much appreciated. You're so welcome. I'm the queen. <laughs> Is that all you have to say? Yeah. I'm going to go into the town. I'm going to go see my subjects. What did he just say? He said that women are too soft. Isn't he an asshole? Queen, Mr. Shins is such a strong and beautiful woman. She will surely make our country a better place. Thank you, old man. Hello, young boy. The queen's so beautiful. Yes, I am. I'm gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Oh, you talk to even a strange traveler like myself? You're such a generous ruler. Yes, yes, I am. Very generous. Nothing interest in here to interest a queen? Hello. Hello, your majesty. Has the hero from Alien come by our town yet? <laughs> they just forgot that I was the same person. Craigmeister, hello. Hello, everyone. Happy weekend. Happy weekend, Craig. It's too dangerous for you to be leaving the castle. Please go back inside, your majesty. I don't want to. Money has been tight enough as it is, your majesty. By the way, the former king just went downstairs. He seemed a little bit too excited. What? What's going on? Oh, check some items out here. Welcome. <gasps> oh, you're our new queen. We owe it to the queen for allowing us to run our businesses. I'm very grateful. So I can't buy items. I beg you, Queen Mr. Shins, please, you must lower the taxes. Uh, I'm not doing that. I'm well, sir. Thank you. What are you doing in such a place, Your Majesty? You look wealthy. Don't be tight with your money now. Ah, uh, Queen Mr. Shins. Hi. My liege, what are you doing here? The next royal training? Oh, me too. This is certainly no place for a queen. Are we gambling? No, we're just watching and enjoy, that's all. It is I, the former king. Commoners sure have it good. <clears throat> I never knew that gambling could be so much fun. Are you enjoying being the new ruler of Romley? No, not really. You know, I want to go back. So you're already tired of being queen? Yes. I see. I won't make you continue doing something you dislike. It was fun while it lasted, but I need my rest. And you must continue your travels, Mr. Shins. <laughs> Ruler for a day. Well, I think that is probably a good place to uh, to uh, stop for the night. It's been three and a half hours or so, almost 2 a.m. here. So uh, let's do the stream ending screen. Thank you, everybody, for joining me tonight. Let's see uh, two of the people that I was lurking raided me. So very nice of them. Let's see who's out there. Kazenon is doing Golden Sun. Huber? Oh, no, not Huber. Hubert. <laughs> uh... Finn Fable is doing Phasmophobia. Studio Ghibli Witch Vibes. 
I think we'll do Kazanun. It's been a while since we've raided him. He's just just over an hour in, and uh, this Golden Sun game is really cool. Thank you, Craig. Thanks for popping in. Uh, Black, thank you for shouting out, Craig. You guys, please give Craig a follow. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and raid out how the classes go are going. One down, one to go. Good deal. Um, if, all, uh, if all goes according to plan, I will be back on tomorrow uh, with Wittershins and Yuki uh, doing Baldur's Gate. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys then. Uh, if not, I will see you on your streams. Thank you, Lishin the Legend, for being here later, sir. Uh, and yeah, um, let's go say hi to Kazinon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, everybody.